everybody Ann here I just got up I haven't even cleaned the sleep out of my eyes yet or gotten washed up or anything I managed to make coffee and uh, I'm out here parked at the Walmart this is my fourth day dashing in a row and um, I've actually been doing pretty good a weirdo just walked by my van huh. <laughs> it takes one to know one right anyhow so I've been doing really good dashing yesterday was really scary because it was just rainy it was windy. Um, I mean, it's been raining solid here for days and days. So it's not supposed to rain today. It's not supposed to rain tomorrow, which is significant, um, or Saturday or Sunday. So I've got Friday, Saturday, and Sunday off. I'm just going to work super hard today. I've already got the money to pay my lot fee. I've already paid my phone, any other bills that um, I've had to pay. So right now, I just, uh, I'm working for just extra dough. And uh, so I'm going to say a prayer that today goes really well. But um, you know what? I think I'm really getting the hang of this DoorDash thing, and it's kind of making me happy. And if you guys watched my last video, you'll know that I moved to a new property. It's flatter. It's going to work better for me. And tomorrow, hopefully around 1 o'clock in the afternoon, I'm going to be getting some gravel. Somebody has gifted me a big dump truck full of gravel and I'll tell you who that very special person is tomorrow when I make the video because I'll definitely be making a video so I think what they're gonna do they're just gonna dump it they're gonna back up and just dump it from where they think you know that load will cover and dump it just pull forward a little bit at a time and so I'm gonna spread it um, Andy from Andy Andy's Tennessee Life and Homestead is gonna help me um, I don't know if I'll have anybody else helping, but hopefully we'll be able to get it kind of spread out over the next, you know, three days, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Um, if we can get it all done in one day, that would be great, but I don't know. And that's going to be a lot of gravel. I'm really excited. I can probably get up, get up my drive um, myself, you know, without the gravel, but it just makes it so much less scary. And I don't ever have want to have to worry about getting stuck and having to call to have somebody come pull me out. So <sighs> I'm really excited about it. Um, and I don't know. I, I think this is just going to be kind of a short little video letting you know how I'm doing. Um, I was sick a little bit last week. Um, just kind of like a head cold sort of a thing. Um, but I've been planning all the different little things I want to do out there, what I want to plant, where I want to plant things. Um, I'm going to get some buckets because for right now, I'm just going to have water hauled in. I can go to this place called Chickasaw State Park, pay $5 for a dump fee, and I can get as much water as I want. So I've got a six-gallon tank. I've got three one-gallon jugs. I've got a like a two- or three-gallon, um, like igloo cooler that you know it's a drink carrier thingy um, so I may go this weekend and get that all filled up so I'll have plenty of water and the good thing is too is I've got that little shed so I can store stuff in that shed you know and just put it in there put the lids on and just set it in the shed um, that way I'll have water for an extended period of time and it's fresh water I mean it's spring water you can you can drink it you can drink it right out of the tap so I won't have to worry about filtering it um, I'm going to move my hand a little bit because it's getting tired. I should have used a sel selfie stick. But yeah, this is what I look like first thing in the morning. Look at me. Look at my little curls. Good Lord. But um, so just everybody say a prayer that today goes well and that tomorrow my gravel comes and that the road, I don't think it's going to be too wet because hopefully it'll dry out just a little bit today and then overnight and then um, dry out tomorrow morning. It's supposed to be sunny all day tomorrow, so it's going to be cold though. Um, and the next few days, I think tonight is going to be super cold. It's supposed to get down to about 19, but I've got my buddy heater and I have found that if I just turn that on long enough to get the van really, really warm and toasty, jump under the covers, I'm fine all night long. Um, if I'm sleeping on level ground, I sleep better so I don't wake up. If I wake up and I stay awake too long, that's when I start getting cold. But underneath the cover, snuggled up with Betty, I've been just fine. And I get really hot when I sleep. There were a couple nights recently where it dropped down below freezing and um, I found that I was getting hot. I had to kind of kick some of the covers off just because I get so hot when I sleep. 
So, I'll do okay heat-wise, and um, I think for now I'm just going to stick to those little propane tanks that you hook onto the onto the Mr. Buddy heater. Um, and oh, I didn't show you this, but I got I went back to the burner two burner propane stove system because the you know the little butane cooktop I was using I can't find butane anywhere every time I go to the store it is all sold out so I don't know if people are just like buying it up like crazy or what but eventually I'll get a nice big tank and um, you know just have that fill up but these are small they're convenient I can lift them um, they're I mean like a couple pounds so um, they're easy to store but eventually I'll get a big tank but Anyhow, I have to get some coffee. <laughs> so good morning, guys. Um, say some prayers that the next couple days go great for me, and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.